So in this lecture we are going to study about short channel effect and uh, drain induced barrier loading. So before we begin with drain induced barrier loading, let's have an idea of why we need to study this topic. So with, uh, this happens to occur, the DIBL or Dibble happens to occur when channel length is short. But having this short channel length improves the performance or the speed of operation of any device and also reduces the cost of manufacturing. How does it do? So, if we decrease the size of transistor, the effective capacitance also decreases. So, this decrease in the effective capacitance reduces the time to charge and discharge the capacitor, which in turn increases the speed of operation. And the second point, manufacturing cost. How will we get a dye? Given a wafer, if we cut the wafer into this way, the each pieces is known as dye. Now, if we decrease the size of the transistor, or we can say the number of transistor which we can get, or number of dyes which we can get from the same transistor is now more than what we were getting before. So, which in turn increase, reduces the manufacturing cost. So now let us consider, let us, uh, Consider two MOSFET, one is short channel and another is long channel. When I say short channel, I mean to say the channel length is comparable with the depletion region at the width and at the drain and the source. It means this channel length should be comparable with the sum of the width of the depletion region at the source and the drain. Now, uh, so let us consider case 1 when VDS is 0. So normally what happens, a gate voltage controls the current which flows from source to drain. Now to make the current flow from source to drain, the electron, electron has to overcome the barrier potential. Why the electron has to overcome the barrier potential is, we have a N type material followed by P and again N. So N and P is one of the diode model, you can say this way, and another diode model here. So to, uh, a diode model, if electron has to overcome from, go from here to here, it has to cross two barriers, one here and another here. So to overcome this barrier potential, the gate, gate uh, voltage can be increased. So gate has ability to overcome this barrier potential and make the electron flow from source to drain. Now what happens in drain induced barrier loading, loading is there comes a time when gate doesn't have, gate loses the control over the drain current. So that's the most important factor which comes into play due to drain induced barrier loading. So let's have a look of that. So now let us consider VDS is 0. Initially we'll keep the drain potential at 0 voltage. So VDS is also 0. So in that case, the electronic profile, electron profile from this point to this point would be like this in short channel. And uh, let us consider as VS and this is VD. Now here, for long channel devices, it will be VS here and VD here. Now as we increase the VDS, as we increase the drain voltage, in case 2 we are increasing the drain voltage. So with the increase in the drain voltage, the curve changes like this. So this is VDS, this potential. Now what happens now is this transition time, we can say this width W1 and this one is W2. So width of the depletion region increases when we increase the drain voltage. How does it happen? Let's have a look here. So here we have a drain and if we try to draw the diode model, it can be drawn like this. So now this, as we increase the drain voltage, the 
positive voltage is applied at the negative terminal of the diode. So this diode goes to reverse biased. So biasing a diode in reverse direction or we can say the reverse biasing a diode increases the width of depletion region. So due to increase in the width of depletion region, here we have a sharper bend as compared to the previous one. So we can say W2 is more than W1. The sa similarly, same happens here as well. The curve goes like this and it bends. So now the width of depletion region here also, let's say W3 and W4. So W4 is more than W3. So these, the width of depletion region change in the same manner in both the cases, in short channel device as well as long channel device. Now, the one thing which is different in the short channel device from the long channel device is the potential barrier or barrier potential. With the increase in the drain put, uh, drain voltage, the barrier potential also decreases. But here, it doesn't decrease the barrier potential. That's the major difference between the short channel device and the long channel device with ref respect to the increase in the drain voltage. Now, how, why does why does the drain barrier potential decreases? This happens due to as the depletion region keep increasing here and here as well these two depletion regions there comes a time as we keep increasing vd as we keep increasing vd the curve get uh, the height of this barrier also keeps decreasing as well as the depletion region the width of depletion region so this w5 is more than w2 is more than w1 as well as if I compare the heights, let's say H1 and H2 and H3, or we can better say V1, V2, V3, V1, V2 and V3. So V3 is less than V2 is less than V1. But in this case, if I compare V1 and V2 and V3, here V3 is equal to V2 is equal to V1. So the major difference which happens to occur in case of short channel device is the decrease in the barrier potential as well as decrease in the width of the depletion region. Now decrease in the barrier potential happens to occur since this depletion region as we keep increasing VD the depletion region keep increasing and there comes a time when this depletion region joins with the depletion region present at the source terminal. So now uh, we have a depletion region which stretches from drain to the source. And that is why this, this height keeps decreasing in case of short channel but not in case of uh, long channel devices. And now there, as this height keeps decreasing, there comes a time when electrons flowing from here doesn't require to overcome much barrier potential and uh, which flows fastly from one source to drain which causes leakage current in the device. So this leakage current happens to occur even though VGS is, G VGS is less than VT. Normally what, should ha what it should happen is when VGS is less than VT device should be turned off but due to this short channel effect device is turned on even though VGS is less than VT, which happens only in case, which, which happens due to punch through. Punch through is basically stretching of the depletion region from drain to source. Okay, so that's the major difference. Due to this, leakage current flows in the device even when device is off. So which increase, which again uh, increases the power dissipation, static power dis dissipation in the device. Loading of the barrier is due to drain. As we increase the drain voltage, there is loading of the potential, there is loading of the potential barrier. That's why we say drain induced barrier loading. But this happens only in short channel devices. Now, uh, one more important thing is, uh, now the gate doesn't have control over drain current. 